In this video, we're making Chatam Microbial Solution, also known as JMS. Let's get into it. So the material we're gonna need for this is gonna be potatoes, 15 grams of sea salt, some leaf mold or soil, some IMO3 if you have it, and if not, that's okay, you don't need it, some cheesecloth, something to hold your cheesecloth, rocks to weigh them down in the bag, some zip ties, four gallons of non-chlorinated water. I let this water sit out for about 24 hours, so that way it's non-chlorinated water. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 15 grams of sea salt into the water. Let's go ahead and stir that in. All right, so now we're gonna take the potatoes. I got my cheesecloth right here. We're gonna go ahead and put them in to the bag. Now, I like to use a rock in the same bag so that way it kind of weighs it down as it's brewing into our water. I'm gonna go ahead, tie that up. Now, I don't tighten it all the way because I wanna put my zip tie through this so we can attach it to this two by four as it's brewing in the solution. So I go ahead, take my zip tie, I'm gonna go ahead, put this on top of the two by four. And then I go ahead and tighten that. So that way it's nice and secure. It's on the zip tie and boom, we have our potatoes on our two by fours. All right, so now in the other cheesecloth bag, we're gonna go ahead and put our active soil in it. Um, this is just soil I have from um, around the woods in the back here, um, nice and active. And I do also have some IMO3 that I'm gonna put in there. If you don't have IMO3, absolutely fine. You don't need it uh, for this specific solution. But I had some on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put that rock inside of this bag. We're gonna go ahead and put that soil in there. Put some of that IMO3. And same thing, I'm just gonna kinda loosely tighten that up. Got my zip tie, we're gonna go ahead and put that on through. Get my two by four. Go ahead and attach that on. So we're gonna take the potato, we're just gonna kind of mash it in there. All right, so we mashed the potatoes in, we got the soil in there. Now we're gonna let this brew for about 36 hours and it really kind of depends on where you're located. Like I'm here in the south so it gets super hot, hot out here. So it's probably gonna be about right about two days for this to be ready. I'm gonna cover this up. I got this big lid right here that just kind of goes on top of it. And uh, we're just gonna kind of let that sit there and brew for about 36 hours and then it'll be ready to use out on the farm. So. Let's let this sit for a little bit and then uh, we'll check on it in a couple days. All right, so it's been about two days since the JMS has been brewing. So let's check it out. Let's see if it's ready to go. All right, let's take off the lid. I did put a plastic bag on it. Just gonna check it out. our JMS look at all that foam and activity we see the rings on the outside um, I like this we're gonna go ahead and use that
right, for every four gallons of water, we're gonna add almost about a quart of the JMS solution. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill that up and that's gonna be a dilution rate that I'm using. It's gonna be one to 20 uh, to spread all on this farm. So let's get into it. All right, we'll just start on one side and just work our way into the other side. Let's uh, spread this JMS on this. <laughs> So we got a JMS on this plot here and really JMS is just a great introductory way to get microbes into your soil. Um, it's an easier way than making your indigenous microorganisms because I know sometimes that can get a little complicated. Um, so I would look into the Chatham system. It's a great introductory way to get into natural farming and that's actually how I got started uh, before I kind of dove deep into Korean natural farming. Once you get it down and just kind of work with it and just kind of play around with it, you kind of know for yourself uh, what works and what doesn't work. So we're just gonna see the magic happen. We're gonna see uh, these microbes dig deep down into the soil and give it a little aeration and uh, just bring some more life into um, this plot. We're gonna get ready to plant some good food next week. Probably put some wood chips on the, on the plot too and then uh, get our compost in there, but um, this has been Let's Make JMS. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's grow food the natural farming way.